Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded trapezoid uh, AGED fully inscribed uh, in a square ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, these uh, segments uh, D, E, C, F, uh, and uh, G, B are uh, four units each. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, H, F is uh, perpendicular to this uh, another segment uh, EG and this uh, segment uh, HF uh, is uh, 20 units long and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, yellow trapezoid. So therefore, let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it a trapezium, a quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid. Area of trapezoid is equal to H times A plus B divided by two. And in our case, uh, this uh, side length uh, AD is the height uh, H of this uh, trapezoid. Whereas uh, this uh, base uh, A, G is uh, lowercase a and this uh, base uh, D, E is uh, lowercase uh, b. And we know the side length uh, this uh, B is uh, 4. So therefore now our task is to find this uh, height uh, H and this uh, base uh, A as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that we are dealing with this uh, square a b c d that means uh, all uh, these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, going to be of equal uh, length as you can see and out of which uh, this uh, segment uh, d e is 4 likewise uh, c f is 4 and this uh, g b is uh, 4 as well and now let's assume there's a point uh, p on this uh, side uh, a d such that uh, this uh, length is 4 units as well. So therefore we conclude that this segment EC, this segment FB, this segment AG and finally this segment DP are congruent. If this side length is x units then this is going to be x, x and x units as well. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, these points E and uh, F as you can see over here. And likewise, I have connected uh, this point F uh, with this uh, point uh, G and this uh, point uh, G with this uh, point uh, P. And finally, this uh, point P with this uh, point uh, E. And now let's focus uh, on these uh, right triangles. Uh, this one, this one, this one and finally this uh, one and we can see their side lengths uh, are x, uh, x, uh, x and uh, x and moreover 4, 4, 4 and 4 uh, across the board and furthermore uh, they are uh, right uh, triangles uh, as well. So therefore we conclude these uh, side lengths uh, EF, uh, this side length uh, FG, this side length uh, PG and finally this side length uh, PE are congruent. Therefore we conclude that we have got uh, this uh, square EFGP and furthermore uh, these uh, diagonals uh, PF and uh, EG bisect uh, each other at this uh, point H. In other words uh, if uh, this segment is uh, 20 then uh, this segment uh, is uh, 20, this is uh, 20, and this is uh, 20 units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EHF. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this uh, side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, EF. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c, and this side uh, lowercase a, and this uh, 
lower case b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this pythagorean formula a in our case is 20 so it's going to come 20 square plus 20 square as well equal to c square and in this next step 20 square is 400 likewise 400 over here as well so therefore our c square value turns out to be 800 let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. Here square and square root undo each other. So therefore c turns out to be equal to, and if we simplify this uh, square root of uh, 800, this is going to be 20 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore c value turns out to be 20 times uh, square root of uh, 2 units. So therefore our this uh, side length uh, EF turns out to be 20 times uh, square root of 2 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ECF. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, X. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest uh, leg as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this uh, side length lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is x. So this become x square plus b is 4 square equal to c in our case is uh, 20 times the square root of uh, 2 whole square. Now let's go ahead and simplify. We got uh, x square plus uh, 16 equals to if we take care of this uh, right hand side that is going to give us uh, 800. Let's go ahead and subtract 16 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore x square turns out to be 784. Let's undo this square by taking square root on both sides. We can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore x value turns out to be positive 28 uh, units. So therefore our this uh, x uh, length uh, EC turns out to be 28 uh, units. Likewise uh, these side lengths uh, are going to be 28 uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length uh, AD is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, 28 plus uh, this tiny length uh, Four. So therefore this uh, side length uh, AD is going to be 32 and likewise uh, this side length uh, AG is uh, 28 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow trapezoid AGED. And now let's recall once again the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to H times A plus B divided by 2. And in our case, our h height is uh, 32, our base a is 28, and our base uh, b is uh, 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Height h uh, is uh, 32 times uh, our a value is 28 plus b value is 4 all over 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side. 32 times 28 plus 4 is 32 as well all over 2 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us 512 square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow trapezoid turns out to be 512 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.